Hello everyone, let's get the daily message going. What does everybody need to know today? What is the vibe? What is the vibe? Interesting. Okay, top and bottom of the deck, we have Five of Pentacles reversed in the Justice. Oh, there's a hidden card under there. I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. I think the Hermit was hidden under the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. You guys are keeping to yourselves, but like in a good way. I think you're tired. <laughs> She's just tired. Um, we have the Five of Swords here. This is... This is an energy of like, I mean, you could be in this energy, but I feel like you guys are probably dealing with someone who just wants to cause conflict and that's not a fun energy. This is someone who like needs to win. This is someone who just like starts problems for like no fucking reason, just annoying. And then we have the Ace of Swords reverse. Something about this situation isn't clear. And I think that you're kind of retreating and focusing on yourself to try to see if the answers will come through. I don't know why my hand is shaking. I just went to the gym, that's why my hand is shaking. I just did arms, so I'm like, Meh. sorry. Um, Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. Virgo energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo or you could be a Virgo. Doesn't have to be though. Uh, we just came out of Virgo season. Hmm. With the Five of Pentacles reverse and the Justice, I feel like you're creating your own justice. It's like you're going within and doing, I feel like this has been a reoccurring message. Nine of Pentacles is someone who's like happy, single, like making money. You see how she's kind of like tending to her own garden? That's what I feel like you're doing right now. Whether it be money, like making your money, getting your bag, self-care, getting facials, whatever that looks like for you, that's what you're doing. I feel like you're retreating from the situation that has been stressing you out. I think that this is stressful. There's something very unclear about someone who just wants to win. And you're like, I'm, I've done what I can. And I'm just going to do what I need to do to take care of myself. Um, also, the hermit is very spiritual. So you could be relying on your own spiritual practice. You could be meditating doesn't mean you have to be talking to gods and goddesses every day. I mean, literally could just be meditating. Focusing on yourself is a form of meditation, right? Five of Pentacles reversed is all about coming out of the cold. And then obviously justice is about like karmic justice. You focusing on yourself is bringing in this karmic justice. Creating your own justice. I feel like that was an, a message I got in another video I did too. I don't know if that was a daily message or if that was an all signs video that I did. I don't remember. It's like, I feel like collectively a lot of people are just done with the BS and just moving on to calmer waters. I'm surprised the six of swords are not here. Right, what else? What else is the vibe? I'll pull one more time because that was very straightforward. What should we focus on? all right top and bottom top and bottom of the deck is the devil reverse with the six of wands reversed capricorn capricorn energy interesting Someone here didn't make you feel seen and you're moving away from that. This person who has caused or this situation, I think it's a person. I think someone has caused a lot of conflict in your life and you're realizing that they're very stubborn and they're probably not going to change. And I think that they want to come in here with some sort of passionate message or some sort of, it's almost like a, like they want to compromise with you, but I feel like you understand that like you guys want different things and I think that you understand that if you keep fighting with this person it's just going to lead to more heartbreak. You're ready to not be mentally trapped by this person. I don't think that this person really makes you feel that great. 
And I think you're kind of like, I tried. I did everything I could. It's time to go. And I don't feel like you're too beat up about it. I don't, that's my cat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cats could be a sign for you. I don't know. My cat loves to interrupt my videos. Okay, anyway, her name is Dot. You guys will see her probably in future videos. But anyway, you're really wanting to move away from this heartbreak. I feel like every time this person comes in almost, it's like you know that it's not going to lead to something that you want. That's just what I'm feeling. It's like this person wants to come in with something great, but they always end up like fucking it up or something. I don't know. And then we also have the Knight of Cups here. This could be the person that you're dealing with. This could be, this whole spread just could represent cycles. It's like you wanna come out of mental entrapment, but this person always comes back with an offer. It's cycles. This person is always gonna keep coming back around if you allow them. This could represent a new person coming in. It could, but I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's just a message to say, this person will keep coming back, yeah, but they'll always leave and um, they haven't really changed. They haven't changed and it's time to let it go These, this person doesn't make you feel seen they don't see you for who you really are which is someone that deserves not whatever the hell this is you know and you're doing the work to really get out of depression and anxiety and it's working and this person always comes back around when you're feeling good about yourself Yeah, this is just a warning. This is a warning for sure. Don't let this person keep coming back. It's gonna bring trouble. Anything else? Wheel of Fortune just tried to come out, but. Anything else to end this message? Yeah, you're feeling very, I think this person makes you feel defensive. They make you throw up all the, they make you bring out the weapons. Like this person makes you want to fight. <laughs> this person makes you want to fight and they keep you stagnant here with the hanged man. They keep you at a standstill. They keep your life at a standstill. It's time to, it's time to, it's time to pull out your sword and be like, you know what? One last fight and this fight is for myself. This fight is to get myself out of this. And that's when all the clarity comes in, right? Then we have the justice reverse. Very interesting. We just had the justice upright. Justice reverse and the page of pentacles reverse at the top and bottom of the deck. This person's offers, every time they come back, they don't, they don't bring, um, they don't bring anything to the table. They don't enhance your life in any way. We had the page of wands before, which is like a passionate message. So yeah, they come in with the passion, but it doesn't last. It's almost like a small little spark that can just be put out by like the faintest wind. That sounds really dramatic, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> um, this person doesn't have longevity. And with so many pages here, it's very childlike, they're very immature. Could be dealing with the Libra. It doesn't have to be though. We're in Libra season, so it could just be the season that we're in, but yeah, this person isn't, and I think that you know this. I think that you know that this person isn't the best for you. And I think that you're ready to let it go, which is great. This is definitely a full moon releasing type of energy here. I think I think that you may have let someone go. And I think that this is spirit saying, you did the right thing. You're ready to move on. You're ready for better things. And I think that you feel at peace about it, which is really, really nice. I really like that energy. So I hope that this helped. I hope that this message made you feel a little bit better if you just released someone. Um, you did the right thing. So I will see you tomorrow for the next message.